Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Uh, my partner John Coleman and I have an amazingly uh, interesting guest today. And uh, we do. John, tell us a little bit about uh, our guest. We do. Our guest today, you know, Art, uh, since we're talking to people over 50 in the second half of their life, their Act 2, um, we know because we've interviewed a lot of people, we know personally that there's, you know, after you hit 50, some people think it's all downhill. We know that there's a ton of people that start new businesses, change careers, do all kinds of wonderful things after 50. Like us. Um, and today we've got one of those guests. Uh, I, I think we've probably interviewed dozens of people who have changed careers or started new businesses, but ours our guest today is really different. Um, she's had a long career, wonderful career as a public speaker, business coach. I'm probably getting the phrases wrong, but she's been very successful. And now she started, is starting, has started, I guess is the right word, a network for women um, to be successful, to, to coordinate with each other, be successful, help each other to the next plateau. I think it's fascinating. Um, you know her because we've met her before briefly. Her name is Cappy Pidwell. Cappy, hello. Cappy, before we take any more time here, Awakened Women's Network, Cappy Pidwell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I'm excited to be here. It's great to see you. Now, was my introduction um, reasonably close to uh, where you are in your career? Yes, yes. It's just the next level of what I was already doing. Yes, absolutely. Great. So tell us, tell us a little bit about Awaken Women's Network. What's, what's that all about? Well, Awaken Women's Network was really birthed out of the fact that I've spoken at thousands of events and networking things, and I just saw a big missing piece. And that is people mull around a room, they get business cards, and then they kind of go home. And uh, I wanted to incorporate mindset training, coaching, networking, so people could find a lot of resources all in one place. Hmm. Well, having done uh, networking over the years and various forms with the various groups, I can tell you how important that is. I know firsthand uh, how it is. Um, and your background, though, as a business coach, it's, it's not just networking. Awakened Women's Networking has got to be more because you've lectured corporations of all sizes about you know how to improve their sales force, how to do things. So tell me how that all relates. Yeah, so... I'll give you the, the whole kind of background. And it looks like my screen is freezing. Am I OK? Yeah, you're <laughs> good. Like OK. So many, many years ago, I was in sales. I was in corporate sales. And I started um, getting very stressed out, like a lot of people do. And I decided, after speaking to a doctor and speaking to some other people, I had a physical challenge from my stress to go see a hypnotherapist about 30 something years ago. And one session changed my life, literally. It blew my mind. And so I started studying mindset and over the course of a few years, my business results began to blow up. My sales began to increase. My confidence was amazing. Everything really just started to shift in my life dramatically. So. I started studying under her and then I continued on and went to the American Institute of Hypnotherapy and I became a master hypnotherapist. Then I continued on uh, learning NLP. So I'm a master of NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. So I'm basically a mindset expert and I help people get out of their own way uh, to produce very, very rapid results. So. Yeah. That's pretty. I, I just wanted to interrupt. And you wrote along the way. You wrote a book. That's part of the name of your. Tell me the name of your book again. Yeah, the name of my book is called The Mindset Code, and uh, it really is the 30 years of my expertise 
and my interpretation of how to program our mindset to get extraordinary results, whatever that is. Um, I tell people today that we know more about how to program our technology, our cell phones, our computers, like how much time do we spend on them than we do on how to program the mindset. So part of Awaken Women's Network, and the reason I created this additional company is because I want people to have the mindset subconscious training and then the other skill sets, you know, how to build a business online, how do you market yourself today. We're in a whole new world. And I, I do think people over 50, as you mentioned earlier, sometimes they think, oh, well, you know, it's too late or I can't or whatever they tell themselves. And that's really what I deal with. So it's yeah. powerful to be able to share when you have a lifetime of wisdom um, and to teach people how to get accelerated results because we don't want to spend the next 10 years trying to figure it out, right? right. By the way, Kathy, so... Uh, you've been very successful using this methodology uh, and uh, for all sorts of people, men and women, I've, I've seen some actually pretty impressive testimonials on your website uh, from men. Uh, why uh, just women? Why is this geared for uh, Awakened Women Network as opposed to well, anybody? Uh, well, we're we're talking to our attorney right now, and I might be changing the name to Awaken Global Network. Um, what I have found, you guys, is that women are pretty much seem to be way more receptive to this level of learning. And I would say they're bigger buyers of my product and of opening their heart and their head and understanding this philosophy. And uh, I think men are becoming uh, more evolved and open and receptive, but I can tell you 15 years ago, <laughs> it was all women. And I have found in the personal development world and speaker world, it is dominated by men. And yet women are not really the, I mean, when you think of the Oprah, of course, but I mean, traditionally in speaker world, you know, it's Deepak Chopra, it's Brian Tracy, it's, you know, it's, it's a man's dominated world in the speaker industry. And I'm like, I'm a woman, I'm a single mother. I raised two kids alone and there weren't really role models for me to look up to. So I created Awaken Women's Network. And certainly we have a, we have a little tagline behind it that says today's modern men, which really is men that are open and receptive to growing in their subconscious and understanding mindset training in addition to every other training. Cause we've had the goal setting and we've had all the traditional stuff, but my stuff is, uh, it's a much deeper dive into how to get outcomes. And that really has to do with what's happening inside of you. <laughs> and yeah. then, to, and a lot of men are like, yeah, that's whatever. Right. So it traditionally that's changing for sure. Mm. Oh, I agree. The, the world has changed. The world yeah. of business has changed. The world of, uh, male, female relations has changed. I mean, 20 years ago, there was a whole lot less women in business. Yes. Um, today, it's much more common. Um, mm -hmm. Female CEOs are not uncommon. Right. So maybe maybe it, the world has caught up with you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and, I, and I know I know personally that men um, will often the reaction to uh, when we need support, when we need something, uh, we'll macho it out. You know. Yeah. Um, I remember doing networking groups, um, you know, in the media industry 20, 30 years ago, and it, it there were a lot of men who couldn't deal with networking. I, was just, oh, I don't need that, you know. And networking is only a small part of what you're doing. You're there. right. It's a deep dive because networking, but to get to the networking idea yeah. that you're going to help other people, they're going to help you, that you're going to trade information, that you're making new friends yes. um, in business. Just that simple idea uh, is really the, only a small part of what you're doing because that deep dive into who am I, how do I get me to be successful? What What's holding me back? Yes. Um, those, are, those are important concepts. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can handle them. I think you have to get to a certain point in your in your life, I agree. Where you can look at, as by the way, I liken this to being over fifty. 
I think something happens around 50 years old, 50, 60 years old. All of a sudden, you're looking at the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel. You're saying, oh, my, holy cow. And you, I think that's an awakening point. Mm -hmm. Arguably, it could be 40 or it could be 60. Mm -hmm. But 50 is a good, 50 is when the AARP calls you every day and uh, says, well, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm going to jump in with a loaded question for Kathy to answer. Um, and uh, when we interview people, we don't necessarily have a whole bunch of such questions, but I'm concerned about for our audience having a real great takeaway from this. And let's say somebody is 60 and they're a, a woman, it could be a, 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 an aware guy, but let's say a woman who maybe never had a lot of responsibility and now is a, a widow, is now finding herself uh, on her own for the first time. I think you probably have some encouraging words about mindset and what Awakened Women's Network might be able to help them with. Is it ever too late? Oh, what a great question. And I will share something with everybody. I actually have a friend that is in her mid-50s and she just lost her husband. And he was an attorney, very successful, and she never had to work. He went out golfing right after the new year and had a stroke and went into a coma and he passed away a few weeks ago, three weeks ago. She is in the Awaken Women's Network and joined because I was friends with her and did a session for her and actually did a session for her husband while he was in a coma, believe it or not, because the subconscious still hears. And she said yesterday, like, Kathy, I don't think I would be where I'm at emotionally if I wasn't doing this work with you. And now to monetize herself and to have her get in a strong position emotionally, she does a business but kind of played with it. So I'm coaching her. She's coaching with me to help her really um, monetize and position herself through that trauma and through that stuff, but it is never too late. I mean, I my, would say my youngest client was infant, uh, just born into the world and had colic and I made a session and the baby stopped crying like two days later and never had colic again. And my oldest client was probably 98. So the mindset is part of us. We're thinking machines, we're in our heads all day. The average individual thinks internally at up to 500 words a minute. And, wow. and most of that internal talk is not serving people. So even saying stuff like, oh, you know, I'm this age or, you know, I only have this. It, we're infinite. I, I truly believe we're infinite. We are in this body for however long, but there's no end to our soul. <laughs> So, you know, I often tell myself, if I were to live to 200, uh, I'd be considered very young right now. So it's all inside of our head. And if you really master your mindset, your body follows. So when I speak live before COVID, I used to laugh and say, you know, I'm actually 98. <laughs> <laughs> physically right but emotionally i you know still 30 so it's really um a powerful place in our heads that most people aren't taught how to master so they let society and the news and all the external stuff impact how they feel about themselves and one of my famous quotes is what we feel we make real hmm. great great quote yeah. that's a great quote yeah so All right, I, well, I'm ready to sign up. Uh, okay, well, uh, where, where would somebody do that? That's a great segue. Where would somebody sign up? Find out more about um, uh, uh, the network. Ah, thank you. So it is awakenedwomensnetwork.com. It's W-O-M-E-N, -E not A. So some people ask. So awakened, A-W-A-K-E-N-E-D, women's, W-O-M-A-N-S network.com. And I, I want to speak into that for just a second. Um, so we only charge $47 a month for our membership. And what we do is uh, the first and third Wednesday of the month is we have a networking night where I highlight business people. It's a new company, so it's still pretty small. 
but we're really, there's some powerhouses in there already that I'm like, man, there's some really cool people in there. Um, and the networking will highlight businesses. We go in the chat. It's all done on Zoom right now. Um, we can exchange our contact information and, and that's fun to learn and listen, you know, to how we can collaborate and connect. And then the third Wednesday is the coaching. It's all subconscious training. Um, I'm teaching people about their relationship to everything, uh, you know, health, wealth, success. And then my two business partners that I pulled in are actually my publicist. Um, Kelly, who I think you guys have met and Kelly and I do a live radio show, uh, an NBC radio show once a month and, um, Stedman Graham, who is Oprah Winfrey's life partner, um, endorsed my book. Um, and so I'm sharing that because the coaching portion and the people I pull in like publicity, how to get media, how to book yourself on, you know, places, how to get your book done. And then of course, marketing. So my expert in marketing comes in the coaching. So we're teaching people really about so many different aspects of what they want to create in their life. So it is the core of its mindset, but we also have other experts in there, you know, LinkedIn. I have a lady that, you know, comes in to teach LinkedIn. So we're talking about different topics every month, training people of the internal and then how to apply to the external. So it's it's really powerful. And then once a quarter, we're doing live events in Orange County. So it's, um, and then we'll meet our networkers, we'll meet the people in the coaching calls. So I'm really creating a platform for people to get the coaching and the networking and have the live experience once a quarter. And um, it's, it's very exciting. Well, it is exciting. It is exciting and, and sounds, you know, sounds really, really important because uh, we all need that kind of support and that kind of direction. My mother would have said, you know, get and, point and yourself in the right direction. Welcome. Men are absolutely welcome. Uh, again, we're considering the name change. It's not official yet, but yeah, it, they're they're absolutely welcome. I always say it's the smart men that go to women's events. <laughs> I, I was <laughs> just John. That, say that. That, that, how come you not go? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this has been a Great. fascinating uh, uh, conversation. Uh, I hope people uh, in the uh, uh, description below will be a number of links to uh, the network and to some other things where they can find out more about you. We, even though uh, I had heard your name from somebody else, we actually met on LinkedIn. So oh. you're you're very you're very approachable. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Happy, your time. This has been this has been wonderful. Um, we definitely have to come back in maybe a few months or a year or whatever, and um, and get an update from you. Okay, I'd love to. That's fabulous. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.